Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel and happy Aloha Friday to you all. To most likely the video will go up on Sunday, so technically Aloha Sunday, but majority of viewers actually see the video on Wednesday. Let's try this again. Starting off, truck needs a bath. It's been several weeks, and as you saw, we're in California for a few weeks as well. We are now back on the islands of Hawaii. Regardless, truck's a mess, so that's truck's coming out for a wash, and that means it is time for a cold start. trusty sidekick. I'm going to apologize before I show you because this is an absolute mess over here, but the next truck modification for the Silverado is right here. What can it be? You'll see shortly. And for just a moment, respect to the flags. Whew, I miss driving this thing. Sits in the garage way too much, but it is a filthy mess. All that mud. We went surfing a few weeks ago and it's been sitting like this for quite a while. Surfing was fun though. All right, this just in. It just so happens that my hose is now broken. You're enjoying it though. Okay, truck is now washed and clean, and we're gonna shine up the tires a little bit. Meguiar's Hot Shine Foam. But, let me know in the comments, what is your choice? So it is now Friday night, the truck is clean, and, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Are you kidding me right now? Stupid. These tires don't even have a thousand miles on it and we got a little present. Out of all my vehicles, to get a nail on the tire. This is the one I drive the least. Actually, that nail is not a big deal at all. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the truck back in here. We're gonna patch the tire. That's if the nail went all the way through. So we actually don't know yet. We don't know yet how long that nail is. So first steps would be to pull it out. So we're going to get the truck in the garage. We're going to go ahead and patch the tire. And as you can see, it is getting late. So we'll go ahead and... Oh yeah, that's good. All right. And... And just like that, we're good to go. All right, I just thought about this, and this is actually a very exciting moment because this will be the first time... I get to use my new power tools. If you don't know what I'm talking about or don't remember, here's the clip. My wife just agreed, if I hit 1,000 subscribers, I have the green light to go purchase power tools. Let's get this tire pulled off without manually doing it by hand. And the other 
because this is going on the internet, we gotta be safe. All right, lugs are off. That was so much easier with that. All right. So there's our nail. Typically what you do first is let all the air out of the tire and then proceed to removing the nail. Um, before I begin, this is not a how-to by any means, so if you get a nail on your tire, please go to a professional to have it fixed. I'm just doing this because I need this truck today and we need a temporary patch. Grab my weapon of choice. Jeez. All right, moment of truth. So if I pull this out and air comes seeping out, we have to patch it. If I pull this out and there's no air coming out, we might be okay. It was a little nail. I don't hear any air. We're gonna double check here with some soapy water. We're gonna spray this with soapy water and if it begins to bubble, that means air is escaping. All right, stupid nail. There we are. All right, so I got my soapy water. Spray that whole section off. All right, so that's a good sign. So if there were a leak, what would happen is you would see some white bubbles coming from that area where the nail was pulled out from. But since there's nothing coming out, that's a good sign. And I was almost certain that that nail was gonna be a long two inch nail that was in my tire. Fortunately, it wasn't. It was actually a really short nail. Whew, that's a good sign. So we're gonna keep a close eye on this passenger rear tire to make sure it's not losing any pressure in the next few weeks. But I'm really happy. Uh, this is my only set of tires I currently have without a patch in it. All my other tires and every other vehicle I have have some kind of patch. This thing ran over a nail as well. I don't know how the heck you run over a nail on a motorcycle, but this is a tube in tire, and so I had to take that in to get the tube replaced. I could have done that myself, but didn't want to deal with it. But this is the only vehicle of mine without any patches in any of the tires, and it still stands true today because that nail did not go all the way through. Hallelujah. All right. All right, it's been another few minutes, and it looks like we are good to go. So it's time to strap this sucker back up to the truck, and again, the first time I get to strap this tire back on using my new power tools. Thanks to all of you. I chose the Milwaukee brand. This was the by far most supported brand in the comments section, so that's what we went with. And it's worked out great so far, so thank you. All right, my last step is to bolt the center cap, lug cover, whatever you want to call it, back up. But we have a visitor. Hi, bud. So if you have kids and you work on cars, you can probably relate. This is a lot of fun. Let's see over here. young okay so since this video started off with the perception that we were gonna patch a tire you know I decided we're gonna go ahead and you know really make that happen so what we're gonna do we're gonna go and drill a hole into the tire and then we're gonna go back and patch it 
That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, maybe it is stupid, but it's also dumb. So, um, here we go. Again, don't do that, it's dumb. And no, I'm not gonna use my truck tire for this. This is my wife's extra tire we had lying around the garage. Um, so, we're gonna use this one. Don't tell my wife. She doesn't really watch my videos, so she won't really know, so we'll be okay. Um, if she does find out, I'll just blame you. Right there on that tread is where the so-called nail would have been stuck in. If you remove it, there's a hole, and you know, that's all you really need to completely ruin your day. So, we're gonna go ahead and patch this. Now, the means I'm gonna go about patching it is a temporary fix. If you need to get to a service station, you need to get to a tire shop to have it properly patched, this is a great way to do it. So what we have here, just as you can see, I only have two left, which means the remainder of the five is in someone's tires. I'm not gonna mention who. These are tire plugs, and I'm gonna show you how to pop them in here, and we're gonna take a look at what it really looks like. These kits typically come with two tools. You have your rasp tool, and then your needle tool. The first step, once you remove the debris, the nail, the screw, whatever it might be in the tire, you take the rasp tool and kill the tire. So once you bore that out, you take up one of the repair plugs, and you thread it through the needle. I'm gonna insert this plug using the needle until it's nearly all the way inside the tire. So let's go ahead and remove this part by pulling firmly and briskly. And there we have it. So the last thing you wanna do with these is just trim off the excess on the outside of the tire. Throw away the excess. And there we have the plug or patch. Now you wanna clean this up a bit because I've actually had this grab a fresh piece of asphalt and actually yank completely out of the tire which resulted in the tire going flat. So there we have it. We have the tire that's been completely, not completely ruined, but pretty much ruined. And uh, got a temporary patch in there. Good to go. All right, now that we've completely destroyed a tire and shown you how to not properly fix something, we're gonna have a little bit of a mail time. And when I say mail time, I really mean something that I bought that was shipped here via mail, and it's time to open it. Now, this little envelope here is actually coming from Pennsylvania. So out in Pennsylvania, there's this pretty decent sized group of automotive enthusiasts that do YouTube videos. And one of them is a company called InShane Designs. They do some really, really cool stuff. Go check out their channel, go check out their shop. They've done some phenomenal stuff on some really high performance cars. They do some really, really cool stuff. Now, one of the things they are doing in collaboration with another YouTuber is a Corvette giveaway. They got a 2018 Corvette they are giving away and to qualify to be part of that giveaway, you needed to purchase something from InShame Designs. So I'm all the way out in Hawaii, but I figure what the heck, I'll go ahead and throw my name in that hat. So what we got here is coming all the way from InShane Designs in Pennsylvania. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. All right, this looks good. America. So there we have it, the decal is installed from InShane Designs all the way from Pennsylvania into Hawaii onto the Silverado. I did a horrific job installing this vinyl, but uh, it'll do for now. I really wanted to see what it looked like. Now that I see it looks so good, I actually might get another one and actually correct it. But regardless, we are entered into the Street Speed 717 Corvette giveaway. Regardless if we win, I was really happy with this and really wanted an excuse to actually get something from InShane Design. That just turned out phenomenal. 
All right, it's now super laid out. Thank y'all so much for tuning in this evening. It has been a great night to cap off a very hectic week. But we have more coming up, more modifications to come. We have something right on the table that's actually ready to be installed. This is something in the appearance realm we're gonna see in the next video. I'm very, very excited to see the results after this next install. Now, this is something I've wanted to do for a very long time, but have not yet had the means nor excuse to do it. We now have it, it's ready to go, and it's ready to be installed. And if you have not subscribed yet to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. We have a lot more coming out soon. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Thank y'all so much again for tuning in tonight. Have a good one, aloha, and we'll see you next time.